Beware of illegal video cassettes. Check whether this video cassette carries a genuine label hologram. Video piracy is a crime. Do not accept it. Demand a genuine cassette from your video store. Poor quality illegal video cassettes reduce your viewing pleasure and jeopardize future film production. When in doubt, telephone the Federation Against Copyright Theft or in the case of the Republic of Ireland When you rent or buy a video, you need to know that the film you choose is suitable for the audience at home. To help you understand what the film is like, you can look at the certificate it has been given. This film has been classified as 12. That means this film is unsuitable for anyone younger than 12. A film with a 12 certificate may contain stronger moments of violence or references to sexual experience. There may also be swear words that you wouldn't find in a PG film. It is an offence to supply a video classified 12 to anyone below that age. Video certificates are there to give you the chance to make the right choice. Thanks for listening. The pirates are out to get you. Don't let them brand you with their mark. Piracy funds organised crime and will destroy our film and video industry. Piracy costs jobs and will destroy our music and publishing industry. Piracy funds terrorism and will destroy our development and your future enjoyment. Don't touch the hot stuff. Cool is copyright. Copyright is a matter of fact. If you have any knowledge of the manufacture or sale of counterfeit film and video product or related software, please call our UK hotline on 020 8568 6646 or in the Republic of Ireland 01 882 8565. Your support can end the distribution of poor quality product. Don't let the pirates burn a hole in your pocket. The question is, have you seen it? Have you heard it? Have you felt it? Whoa! DVD. It's a movie on a disc the size of a CD. The picture is twice as sharp as VHS. The sound is so incredibly clear, you can hear a pin drop. It looks and sounds like you're at the movies, but you can experience it at home. And let's not forget, you can watch it in widescreen. Pick your language. Choose from many additional features. Even watch a movie right on your computer. Whoa! And rent or buy thousands of DVD titles available from these great Hollywood studios. DVD. See it. Hear it. Feel it. DVD. Charlie Hinton had it all until the moment we're shutting down the whole health division so where we being reassigned it was all stripped away so how about you baby how was your day i lost my j-o-b bye baby i'll be at the office okay well just make sure you call us and let us know when you're coming back but sometimes the answer to all life's problems i need a job a real job fry cook is staring you in the face daycare center, you and me. Do you know what type of responsibility that is? Yes, and I'll be just as careful with them as I am with Ben. Oh, hey, man, don't be just rubbing your head into stuff. Welcome to Daddy Daycare. I gave it three days. Yeah, can't men do anything that women can do? No. No, they can't. Get ready. Are you sure it's a good idea to feed him this kind of stuff? Why not? It's just sugar. <laughs> D-Day. <laughs> is coming. Okay, you're gonna take these and go on with your bad self. Eddie Murphy. Hey, big guy. How'd it go in there? I missed. What does that mean? I missed. What? <laughs> oh. Daddy Daycare.
150 years ago, in the town of Darkness Falls, Matilda Dixon was adored by all the children. Whenever one of them lost a tooth, they would bring it to her in exchange for a gold coin, earning her the name, the Tooth Fairy. But when two children didn't come home, they blamed Matilda, and they hanged her in the light. Now, they thought the past was dead and buried, but it's about to come back with a vengeance. You don't know what you're dealing with. <gasps> Tooth Fairy? What the hell was that? I see these things at night. I don't know what's real or what's not. She won't come in the light. Who? You know who. Run! We stay in the light, we stay alive. Just walk towards my voice. Come on, it's just three steps. How close is it? This season, evil rises, darkness falls. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just reached our cruising altitude of 32,000 feet, and we hope you enjoy our in-flight movie. Uh, miss, how are we doing on that headset? I'll be right there, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can I get a headset from you, please? Do not raise your voice to me, sir. I'm not raising my voice. Okay, stay calm. I am calm. I just want my headset. Is there a problem, sir? There's not a problem. This sir, is... calm down. I am calm. I, what is it with you people? You people. I don't mean you people. I mean you people. Sir, calm down. I'm calm! <laughs> This court hereby orders you to undergo anger management therapy. Anger management? May I approach, Your Honor? Mm. You think it can happen? I think so, Your Honor. If I can't, I'll tear him apart with my bare hands. Oh. Yeah! Dr. Rydell has a history of unorthodox techniques. Where should we put my stuff? What stuff? You can't move in here. I like to sleep in the nude. <laughs> Linda's been thinking about leaving you. You're jealous, self-loathing, and a premature ejaculator. She told you I was a premature ejaculator? Well, that part I was just assuming. I fell over easy! Now, why did I do that? Because I refused to spoon with you last night? Jack Nicholson. <laughs> Adam Sandler. He's insane. <laughs> Anger management. What do you say, Dave? Is it okay if I date your ex? <laughs> It was an accident. We had an accident. We got stuck and we couldn't get out. We couldn't get out because of the storm. You the manager? Officer Rhodes. Transporting a prisoner here. And I can use a room. I don't think we can get out tonight. I'm not staying here. Are you out of your mind? There is no place else to go. What happened to the motel? People started dying. Go in your room and lock your door. And then their bodies, they disappeared. Nobody in there. That's not possible. I saw what happened. We all saw what happened. This doesn't make any sense. Maybe there's some connection between all of us. Like what? It's my birthday next week. Me too. Me too. Yeah.
time. There's a new Terminator. The TX. It is designed for extreme combat. It's faster, more intelligent, and more powerful. Oh my god! It has been programmed to destroy other cybernetic organisms. It was sent back through time for one purpose only. To kill us all. TNT, listen up. Since 9-11, we've gone high-tech over the water, so the dope runners have gone low. The biggest shipment on record is coming in tonight, and these guys we're going after, they got a lot of firepower, and they hate the law. White power! White power! White power! Whoopsie daisy! It's the Negress! Gentlemen, what is your job description? I'll tell you. Tactical narcotic team. You know, Mike, I had an epiphany. I realized a guy sent you here to test me. Somebody shot you. And who be you? Me? I shot you? Yeah. It's like it hit the meat. It ain't nowhere near the whole. Tactical, discreet, displaying finesse and subtlety. What are you, a cop or a model? Hey, don't hate the player. Hate the game. I hate the teller. What was up about your work today? Oh! This is all your fault! Can we please talk about this later? I want to talk about it right now! Let's see if they'll give us a timeout! <laughs> yes. Stop! Pull up! Stop the car! You badge! Man, he got a gun! Shoot him! Now show him your badge! Bad boys, bad boys, what, what you gonna, gonna do? What, what you, you gonna, gonna do when we come for you? That's next to five, that's next to Miss Nose, man. Hey! Dude, you gotta learn the words. We usually only do the chorus. James Bond? We can help each other. The stones are not what you think they are. Thank you. 